Hey, it's Nintendo Sony Free 2011 here, aka Main Overy. You guys on the rest of the intro is Soldiers Hamlet. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Bish, Brightian, um, Rumble, other social media platforms. Side you guys can think of. And maybe, I keep saying it, it's been like two and a half, three plus, whatever, how many months it's been, but um, I still may or may not make an Odyssey. I know I had a library for a while, but some things, I don't know, I just didn't really fall in place that much, and their system's kind of crappy. You know. They're not censorship or anything like how you know typical Google YouTube is over here, but <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, um, I don't know if you're gonna be watching this reaction first because I still got another one I'm gonna be doing. Which by the time you guys see this, I probably already did it. I know it's about the thing that happened last week, Wednesday, Thursday, with the whole Space Jam two, LeBron James revealing the internet fucking lost their minds in a very bad negative way about Lola Bunny and how she's not super beautiful or hot or. A gorgeous, beautiful, attractive woman running in this fucking 2021. 20, It'd be anything. Ever since 2014, even like 2017, 18, 19, when the whole SJW, like fucking, what's it called, um, cancel culture bullshit started happening, which fuck that, by the way, it's absolute, complete fucking garbage. A lot of those people are fucking brainwashed. So most of them are fortunate. They're a lot of little ass kids in maybe late 20s, maybe even early 30s. Who knows? Like me. Um, it, it's bullshit, honestly. I already talked about it. By the time you guys see us, I probably already did that video, as you can see in the back. It's an article, I think, from the rap or sports keto. I was going to read it from there. I, by the time you guys see it, I priority finished that video and this one, too. That, along with the, some brand new information, which might be old by the time you guys see about Speeding Gonzalez and Pepe Le Pew. Oh, they get Twitter canceled. And then I heard something about Eminem fucking getting canceled next. <laughs> and even Burger King, too. I don't know why. I'm not going to talk about that because it's not video game related. Unless it was video game or anime related, I might talk about I don't know. Getting way the hell ahead of myself here. I, mean, I haven't had this old school New York hat in a while. You can tell it's extremely dusty. I think the last time I used this in a reaction was like, it was in 2015, 16, might have been 2019. I don't know. This Final Fantasy 16 says the trial you guys want. I already watched one of them called Dark Knight. It was extremely, in my personal opinion, cringy and super embarrassing. It's funny because I'm not even a Final Fantasy fan. It was like I was with Halo and Call of Duty and all the other CODs. And no offense to anyone that like Animal Crossing and all these other games. This is big time bop blockbuster game. Now all of them are bad. Some of them I obviously like, you know, for years all the Dragon Ball Z series shit, along with all the Pokemon series, except for maybe a two or three of them, which I didn't really care too much for, especially the side games. A few of them. And then a couple other stuff, you know, I was always a super hardcore fanboy with like the whole Kingdom Hearts series, a lot of the stuff I grew up with, obviously. The old school, like, um, not a PS, but like a lot of the platformer stuff, like the Crash Bandicoot's the Spyro and. Jack and Daxter, hopefully one day that comes back. The last time was like 2008 or 9. That was on the PSP back in the day. That was like the last one that came out. And this is what, let's see. 11, 12 years ago. That was like the last Jack and Daxter again we got. Hopefully one day Sly Cooper might come back. That'd be cool. <coughs> and a lot of Rayman stuff. The newer Rayman I wasn't super crazy about back in the day. But I still still like to see him in Smash Bros. obviously. Alright, this has nothing to do with this video though. So 3, 2, 1, let's get it in here. As this one and another one I'm gonna react to, so uh, let's get it. And, and like I said, I'm not a Final Fantasy, I'm something I'm probably not under gonna understand a lot of the references, so. Lots well, has to do with Gary, Aerith, and uh, <laughs> Tifa, and that's it. Well, let's go. Am I not this baby's father? So we're gonna add the eggs after the melted butter, because if we were to add the butter to the batter with eggs in them, we'd end up with scrambled eggs in the batter. What you watch? Oh, well, who are you? Yikes. I saw her in the other one, I know it was like four days ago, but I still wanna react to it. She reminds me of how the other chick was back in the day. I know she was on the WandaVision show now, which is Kat Dennings. She kind of reminds me of that, but less funnier. It makes it with this other chick, too. I forgot what her name was. Well, let's keep moving. Now I see why the streaming trial is free. That guy should not be trusted with a whisk. Come on, guys. You know who has the best free trial ever? Final Fantasy XIV Online. With Final Fantasy XIV, you get to join your friends on epic battles with endless possibilities. Oh, yeah. This is totally bingeable. I know, right? I care about you guys too much to let you watch bad TV. Look, with Final Fantasy XIV, you actually do stuff. Fight bad guys, slay enemies, you name it. Deep down, you're a slayer, aren't you, Julia? Yeah. 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 She is. Is it weird playing as yourself? Yeah. It's like it could have been like a cosplay thing. I see what they did with the joke. Oh, play with yourself. AK fapping off or the old school thing. Jacking off and shit. Or as a lot of these other kids say, fap off. I don't know. 
said I'm overall thoughts is it's a typical fucking Hollywood. I don't know if they're shitting and crapping on gamers, like the real old school gamers like myself, or I was never a really big MMORPG gamer. The only ones I ever got into was way back in the days. Was in Guild Wars one and two, and then it was like, I guess freaking League of Legends, and that was up. <laughs> to be honest, this, is, this feels like typical Hollywood trying to take jabs at things, but it's still not for me. It's probably for a lot of the mainstream media, like audience, like newbies or normies, AK sheeps, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Um, zombies, whatever. <laughs> it, it's I don't know, it's just a real thick layer of cringe I really don't care for. And God, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, because I probably would have been extremely angry and pissed the fuck off if I wasn't a fan of Final Fantasy fan base. I don't know if any of you guys are out there, real Final Fantasy fanboys, fangirls, whatever we want to identify your fucking selves as. It is what it is. It's all good. I mean, I don't really care. It's not definitely not the target audience for that bullshit. But anyways, um, I don't know why this shit happened again. All right, there we go. That's the one I saw before. That one was really garbage. So, let's see. Free trial on is one black mage. So, it's again. Let's go. Random bots. <laughs> Alright, that part's a little funny. I'm like that. I'll just say the random bots come in. I'm sorry if I'm a little, like, kind of, like, bummy-ish looking. This didn't feel like shade. Maybe the next time I'll do it. Ouch. I'm beginning to understand why that subscription box trial was free. Well, well, you know what you actually want? The free trial of Final Fantasy XIV online. It's, how do I put this? Not a box full of random junk. Oh, a mouse pad with a deer on it. That's not really fun. <coughs> Check out Final Fantasy XIV online. Come on, you want adventure. You want to slay enemies. You want glory. You do want glory, don't you, Rishi? I do want glory. Of course you do, Rishi. Let's go get some glory. Let's get some glory. What kind of guy doesn't have sauerkraut? <laughs> that wasn't really funny either. Anyways, I don't like the thing I was just talking about, my little bunny. Anyways, um, yeah. You know, overall thoughts, he's been not really much to say. A lot of the jokes are fucking corny and really stupid. I'm sorry. And that's typical Hollywood. They really I just feel like they'll never understand the gaming industry. The only times, two times, in my personal opinion, they got it right. It was 2019, almost a year and a half, going on two years ago with the Pokemon Detective Pikachu. They didn't fuck that up. And then the Sound of the Hedgehog, they almost completely fucked that up with the older design. But luckily, they listened to fucking Sega and Twitter and the actual fucking fans. That they actually fucking goddamn actually... Took took the time to sit down and realize, yes, this is a pile of shit. We're going to redesign the whole thing in the order. They fix up this face brand new. Absolutely incredible ass face. I know there's a lot of memes with the silent thing, by the way. <laughs> um, and they're going to do part two. Hopefully they still keep doing that in the design. They're probably going to have to nerf down Rouge the Bass design. So they're showing her big, giant, beautiful, freaking busted chest. They're probably going to tone that down to flat chest, unfortunately, to appease a certain fan. But if they don't, that'd be great. I mean, they did it with Tifa Lockhart. They're doing it with fucking Pyramithra, the last one they did. And then there's a lot of extra stuff about Pyramithra again. I'm not going to talk about it again like I did before. There's a lot of Twitter fucking Puritan, as I call it. They get real, real deep in that shit. It's kind of stupid, to be honest, but it is what it is. And luckily, they, they fixed those two. So hopefully, um... <laughs> oh, like I was saying, what was I saying before? Fuck, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, and it's just typical Hollywood, I don't know. Hopefully they don't completely fuck that up. Uh, whatever they do the live action version for, I don't know. Actually, I actually even found out, like a week ago, earlier, um, it was a 2019 remake, remaster, reboot version of Invader Zim on Netflix. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's crazy, I don't know. And then it's Netflix, I don't know if I should trust them. <laughs> oh, what else was I going to fucking say? Space Jam 2, I don't know if they're going to completely fuck that up. Like I said, I probably already talked about it by the time I did this reaction or I'm still going to talk about it. I may put this up first or that one up first. Whenever you time you guys see this. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. Oh, and there's one last other thing I know is completely irrelevant, but it came out almost two years ago. I guess it's been around way longer. I have a feeling this dude's probably going to end up getting fucking canceled by Twitter next. The Colonel Sanders dude. Even though they did two versions of it last year. They made fun of it when they made their fake version of the gaming console for KFC. And then Mario Lopez did another version of that. And then they did an anime version in 2017-2018. The I love you Colonel Sanders thing. 
So I don't know if he still might get canceled on Twitter or not, but it's probably only a matter of time. But if he does, the older white dude from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, I wouldn't be surprised they take him down next. Anyways, that's all I can say for now. I'm out of here. And they're already trying to do it with the Drew Jeep Grand Cherokee. I remember even as a 90s kid, they tried doing that. It still didn't work. It still might now. Who knows? That's all I can say, and I'm done. Peace out once again. Oh, links in the description box down below to the other one I didn't react to because I watched them my own. So all three of these videos down below. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. I'll talk to Nikki Komodo. I will see you when I see you guys today. Every night, wherever you are in the universe, out there, stay tuned for future content channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, Twitter Tuesday drama news. I know I haven't done that in a while. Except for maybe Twitch almost two weeks ago. And then that's it. Um, reaction videos like this one as well. And that's it. Peace out. I'm Melissa Sarkar. Ladies and goodbye. I'll see you awesome, beautiful, epic people on the flip side. I'm out. I'm gone. Later.